Hello and welcome to The Fireplace, brought to you by Suncorp Team Girls. My name's Greg Davis from The Courier Mail, and joining us from The Firebird Star Defender, Laura Clemisha. Clem, welcome. Thanks, Greg, good to be here. You're only human. Now, let's, before we get cracking onto this week's match, let's have a look back at the round one fixture against the Vixens. 73-61, you girls got off to a flyer, like 8-1 start, what happened after that? I know, Greg, when we talk about momentum and good starts, we literally couldn't get better than that. I think that what happened is that the Vixens really changed what they were doing on us and we didn't adjust accordingly. Um, so we got out to a great start and then the Vixens just kind of settled back in. They started going more direct to the circle and we started making a couple of little unforced mistakes, which Vixens, they won't let you get away with, they really capitalised. And what did you like about the performance though? Like obviously the start was terrific, but what, what else, what were some of the positives that Rose and the rest of the coaching staff got out of it? Well I think one thing was definitely our contest and our tenacity in defence. I mean we, we gave away a lot of penalties but we also got a lot of balls, so really great to see especially Kimmy J and Tazi out there for the first time together, really getting a lot of ball which we were able to service at attack end. And Romelda was taken off in the fourth quarter and uh, Amy, Sol Amy Somerville, we'll talk about a little bit later on, was brought on. Uh, Romelda's not, we're not used to seeing Romelda put on the bench, we expect her to bounce back and bounce back pretty quickly this week, don't we? Absolutely, I think Romelda, or Dids as we call her, will definitely have been disappointed to see her first bit of bench time. Um, but that only gives a player like Romelda more fire in the belly. She'll have looked at what she thinks she can improve on and really worked hard at her training this week because, I mean, Romelda's unstoppable when she's on and she was on for a lot of that game. And when she's motivated and fired up, you don't want to get in the way. As a, a defender, a a yeah, as a defender, I can absolutely <laughs> tell you that training against Romelda Aiken is not good for your self-esteem. All right, now it's time for the Suncorp Team Girls moment. And this week, Clem, it's about Amy Somerville, your former AIS teammate. Yes, uh, Gabs and I spent some time at the AIS with Amy Somerville back in the day, and so exciting to see her make her debut for the Firebirds. Um, as you could have seen on the weekend, Ames is a real dynamic player and she uses her smarts to just get the defenders' heads turning. And one key thing that you'll look out for um, in games to come is that she's not afraid to take the ball and turn and shoot from the outskirts of the circle. And um, as a defender, there's nothing more crushing than a, than a shooter that will just turn with that confidence and sink the ball. And she has National League experience as well with the Swift, so she brings a bit of depth and, and experience as well to the, the Firebird shooting in. She does, she does. She's been around um, the SSN competition before and being our training partner for the last few years, we all know Ames, we're all comfortable with her, she slots in really well, so she's a fantastic fit. Absolutely. All right, coming up, we'll look at the round two clash against the Magpies. All right, round two, the Firebirds host the Collingwood Magpies, the first ever home game at the brand spanking new Queensland State Netball Centre. We're calling to all Firebirds fans to wear purple, aren't we, Clem? Just to create that purple fortress. So the Magpies, just, just burns their eyes, the amount of purple that's going on. Absolutely, I was only talking to Gabby Simpson yesterday and she was saying how excited she was and we all are to have our purple crew in for the first time. I mean, they talk about a home court advantage, but it really does lift you to a whole nother level. When things are tough, when things are going well, that's what gets you over the line. What, before we get into the actual game itself, what does it mean to you as a, as a servant of Queensland Netball and you've been in the Firebirds a long time to actually yeah. have a home now. Like you, you led such a nomadic existence, didn't you? Going from training venue, different playing venues. What does it mean to have for Netball to have that, not just a spiritual home, but a physical home? It's such a proud moment for us because years and years of, you know, tireless effort has gone into actually landing us this. And for us to be settled in a place that really has it feels like home and we're really excited to have our whole community around us. And Firebirds coach Rosalie Jenke even ruptured her Achilles at the State Netball Centre too, playing with weak netball. That's correct. We don't like to talk about it. Okay, now the Magpies, they like, they like this arena mm. too because they won the Suncorp Team Girls Cup pre-season tournament uh, back in March and they have over 400 National League games of experience on top of what you girls have. Uh, Jeeva Mentor, obviously a great defender. Uh, they've got a great midcourt, they've got diamonds and internationals everywhere. What's the key to beating the Magpies this week, do you think? I suppose for us, we put that on a complete flip side. They've got lots of experience, but that really means there's a lot of, um, a lot of stuff that we already know about them and how they play individually. Now, of course, it's a, a thrown together uh, new team, so we don't know how they're going to play as a unit, 
But on the flip side, we've got some really fresh faces in Kim Jenner, Tara Hinchliffe, Gemma Mai Mai and Amy Somerville who they don't know how they play. What's been the one key message from Rose this week, out, out of the Vixens game and into the Magpies game, what's been the one message she's been ramming home this week? Probably control our controllables, and that means um, really cutting down what you spoke about earlier in regards to being able to play in our penalty count and also our unforced errors in attack. It's really exciting because those are things that we actually have control over, so we're going to tidy those up. Fair enough, Clem. Sounds good. Now, if you can't get along to the Queensland State Netball Centre, you can watch the game on Channel 9. And of course, you can see all the news about the Firebirds, the Career Mail, and the Well, that's a wrap, I think, for the Fireplace brought to you by Suncorp Team Girls, Clem. Pleasure as always, Greg. See you next week. Can't wait. I'll see you next week. <laughs>